Stage four of the Vuelta Valenciana from Arihuela to Torrevieja, the longest of the race at 193.1 kilometers. And you can see this stage available in full on demand on GCN+. An attack went very early on. Five men going clear, Parade, Madrazzo, Soto, Molly, and Manuele Boaro, the Italian riding for Astana, Kazakhstan. After enjoying a lead of around three minutes, they were eventually brought back to heel with 20.9 kilometers to go. But that did not stop the Italian from attacking once more, perhaps in search of the most combative rider. But his tenure on the front was only a short one. It was the Ineos Grenadiers leading. Also at the head of affairs there, unsurprisingly, the team of brand new race leader Alexander Vlasov, who took the stage yesterday, wrestling the jersey from the shoulders of Remco Evnopold, who today was wearing the white jersey of best young rider. Ben King in the polka dot jersey, securing that because there's not enough mountain points on offer on this stage or the final stage, so a good bit of riding by the American there. Ivan Kobo attacked with 9.7 kilometers to go for Equipo Kern Farmer, the under 23 Spanish road race champion, powering away up this long, long drag. But again, his effort would come to nothing. And with 3.6 Ks to go, it was all back together. A furious bit of positioning here. Everybody fighting for every single inch of the road because the last few kilometers were very, very technical indeed. A bunch hurtling towards the finish here. Matteo Trentin of UET Merits looking after his sprinter, Juan Sebastian Milano, but he was heading in to this final right-hander. Remco Evnopol on the front, trying to keep the interest of Fabio Jakobsen alive, threads his way through that corner. A couple of riders actually went on to the pavement in a very, very chaotic, tense finale. Evnopol constantly looking around to see where his sprinter was, continued to pile on the pressure. A really selfless bit of riding, but entering into the final finishing straight, it was Andrea Pasqualon on the front looking after Alexander Christoph, but on the right-hand side in the white jersey of Trek, Seda Fredo, it was Matteo Moschetti who powered through the line to take his first victory of the year, the second of the year for Trek Sigafredo, and looked absolutely delighted with that. Smiles all round for the riders from Trek Sigafredo. And there it is again, Milano on the left-hand side, but by length and punching the air with delight straight on the radio, Matteo Muschietti taking the win ahead of Manuel Penalva, Alexander Kristoff in third, Elie Viviani in fourth, Fabio Jakobsen on this occasion having to settle for fifth place. Keeping the yellow jersey was Alexander Vlasov. He'll head into the final stage with a 32 second lead. And of course, you can join us over on GCM Plus tomorrow for live coverage of the final fifth stage finishing in Valencia from 1500 hours GMT.